when you've got pork of this quality and when you're going for your prime cut roast, it would be an absolute crime not to have perfect crackling. First of all, we're going to start by putting those little slits through the crackling that just help to let the seasonings in and let the encourage the skin to blister up and bubble in a hot oven. So, Ray, what is the secret of perfect crackling? Dry skin. If it's nice and dry, like this is here, you'll get perfect crackling every time. I would say that the two essential ingredients as far as making the crackling delicious and savoury are concerned are salt and pepper. But we often like to go one further, one or maybe two extra flavourings. Coriander seeds is, is one which is, can be Very delicious. Nice. But here we've got... Smell that, Ray. Oh, fennel. Fennel seeds, Lovely. exactly. And then a little bit of fresh thyme. Mmm, fantastic, straight from the garden. Mm. We've got the full length of the loin here. Shall I massage one end and yeah, you, you do the well, other? Yeah. I'll give you a bit of, bit of salt, salt over there. The key thing is to work those seasonings into the slits in, in the rind. That's looking like it might still be a bit long for our tray, Ray, should we? Yeah. I see you've put the two strings there so you can put a slice yeah. down the middle. These are going to go into a hot oven, about 210, 220 degrees centigrade, for a good 15 or 20 minutes to get that crackling started. Then we turn the temperature down to 160, 170 to cook the loin through. And at the end, we can worry about the crackling again, give it one last blast to make sure it's beautifully frazzled up. You need a bit of a hand with the crackling there. You're we hungry, are you? We can't wait any longer. Ready to try it. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. Mm. That's just so crackly. Oh. Mm. It's better than any lip gloss that you can buy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm going to kiss you, Hugh, but. <laughs> Don't think I deserve it. <laughs>